Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Main topic of this video is modeling information retrieval and sub topic is browsing. Browsing types like flat, structure guided and hypertext is covered in this video. Now let us start. This is a taxonomy of information retrieval model and under browsing we are going to cover three types of browsing that is flat, structure guided and hypertext. Users might have different ways of interacting with document retrieval system. Two common approaches are searching and browsing. In searching, users have a specific query in mind and looking for precise information. Searching tasks typically have clear and specific goals. Users know what they are looking for. In browsing, users are more into the exploratory. They invest time in looking around the document space to discover interesting reference. The goals are often less defined. Three types of browsing, flat, structure guided and hypertext. Flat browsing, users navigate through a document in a flat manner like scrolling through pages. Structure guided browsing, users follow the document structure such as chapters, sections and subsections to find information. Hypertext browsing, Users navigate through documents using hyperlinks which can lead to a non-linear exploration like our world wide web. Flat browsing. Documents can be represented in two ways such as dots in two dimensional space or as elements in linear list. For example, when we display the file in Windows Explorer. Imagine we have a collection of web pages. Each web page is like a dot on a vast plane or listed one after the another. Browsing for information. User glance at different documents. Searching for relevant information. They might look for correlation between neighboring documents or specific keywords of interest. For instance, if a user is researching travel, they may explore web pages about different destination. Relevance feedback. As user explore, they might find keywords or phrases that are particularly relevant to their interest. These keywords can be added to their original search query to narrow down the result. For example, if users find a web page with the keyword budget travel, they can refine their search by including this term. Flat exploration. Users can explore a single web page in a flat manner. They use tools like web browsers with arrows and scroll bars to navigate the content. However, a drawback is that in single web page, there might not be clear indication of where they are in the overall structure. For example, if users open a novel to a random page, they may not know which chapter it belongs to. In flat, we are using vertical scroll bar, horizontal scroll bar to go to look the page and we are using back button to go to the original location again. Structure guided browsing. Documents can be structured like a directory with hierarchies that group related topics. Such hierarchical structure have been used for centuries to categorize documents collection. These structures are naturally adapted for modern browsing interface also. Structure guided browsing allows user to follow a structure hierarchy of classes when browsing. Even within a single document, this structure guided approach can be applied. For example, book, chapters are at the first level, sections at the second and so on with the text itself at the last level. Example is Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat of book PDF. Effective user interface, a well designed user interface assists users in navigating up and down these levels efficiently helping them maintain context. This approach enhances the user's ability to browse and explore documents in structure and organized manner. Beside the structure which directs the browsing task, addition of history map in the interface tracks recently visited sections aiding navigation in large document structure. This is the example of structure guided that is book in PDF format. So we can see on the left hand side the hierarchy that is nothing but structured 
browsing third is web browsing sequencing is a fundamental concept in writing as written text is designed to be read in a sequential order deviation from this order often leads to an misinterpretation of the author's intended message however traditional sequential reading might not serve well when seeking a specific information subsumed by a large text for its for instance historical information organized chronologically might make it challenging to find the original wars in such cases creating a new organization structure like hypertext is more efficient than rewriting the entire text hypertext definition and the navigational task Hypertext is an interactive navigational structure for non-sequential text browsing on a computer. It is composed of nodes linked by directed links, each associated with a text region, such as chapters or web pages. Users can move from one node to another while reading the text associated with starting node. For example, when reading about a specific topic in an article, we can click on a link to explore related information. without losing our place in the original text hypertext navigation is similar to traversing a directed graph where link nodes represent semantically related text nodes this allows readers to follow the information flow designed by the hypertext creator for example in a book about war a hypertext can have two interconnected webs one for chronological access to european wars and another for exploring the wars by the individual european countries catering to specific user needs in large hypertext user can lose track of the organizational structure leading to a poor navigational choice this state is known as being lost in hyperspace to prevent this hypertext should have a hypertext map a directed graph displaying the current node and path traveled this map helps user to know where they are and avoid revisiting the explored paths when navigating a hypertext users follow the flow of information designed by the hypertext creator therefore the design of hypertext should consider the user's needs before creating the hypertext a requirement analysis phase should be conducted although it's often neglected this analysis is of critical importance domain modeling and requirement analysis the structure of hypertext should be defined after a requirement analysis phase this help ensure that hypertext meets the needs of its users user interface design after domain modeling the hypertext should have a well thought out of user interface design before actual implementation this steps is crucial for creating a user friendly and efficient hypertext structure web pages versus proper hypertext structure on the web web pages are often implemented without adequate attention to the requirement analysis domain modeling and user interface design consequently web pages may lack a proper hypertext structure making information retrieval challenging for the users that user find day difficulty to seek the information from the web pages initial positioning in large hypertext in large hypertext user may struggle in position themselves in the graph efficiently a search based on index term can be useful for helping the users locate the information they seek origins of the world wide web hypertext serve as a foundation for the development of the hypertext markup language and the hypertext transfer protocol which gives rise to the world wide web about the web the web is often considered as a vast hypertext but it lacks a standardized data model navigational plan and consistent user interface with millions of unique web page designs users often face challenging finding the information as there is no common metaphor to guide their search the web is like a pool of interconnected webs while some have a structured consistency but others are merely collection of separately designed pages despite not being a traditional hypertext the web 
revolutionized communication by offering a global accessibility at minimum cost and that is nothing but the success of world wide web most significantly it operates without a strict regulation or censorship allowing anyone to publish their content without editorial filtering so this is all about the types of browsing and the entire topic is theoretical so only in exam it is very much important to write down the important points for all that three types that is flat structure guided and the web thank you